I don't talk much about property crimes in these videos for two reasons. First, this channel's about safety. I'm happy to lose every penny I have, every toy and bauble in my home, if it means my family is safe. Second, there are experts at preventing property crime who have great channels of their own. That said, making our homes harder targets isn't just about property crime. Home invasions can be among the most deadly and traumatic crimes imaginable, and even a simple burglar can become dangerous if cornered. Like any other hazard, the best way to stay safe is to avoid the situation entirely. In this case, it's to make your home less attractive to potential thieves. Experts know you can do this in one of two ways. You can make it look like there's not much worth stealing inside, or you can make it look like it's harder to get away with stealing what's in there. In today's video, we'll focus on the second method, the top five ways to make your home look like it's hard to get away with robbing. Number five, vary your routine. Bad guys try to hit homes when they know conditions are good for their success and escape. If you can vary what time people are home, what times they go to bed, and how many people are around and when, that makes it tough for somebody casing your house to find an optimal time to strike. This is the civilian homeowner's version of an executive in a kidnapping-stricken economy taking different routes to work each day. A potential burglar who can't figure out when you're gone will go find another house to target. If for some reason you can't vary your routine, you can take steps to give the illusion of a varied routine. Use timed lights, carpool to work so your car's in the driveway when you're not home, have a neighbor come in for an hour, Anything you can do to sow confusion to a casual observer will help. Number four, lock up. This may seem obvious, but a surprising number of people don't make it a habit. Lock your front door, lock your back door, lock your garage door and windows when you're not actively going into and out of them. Latch the gates for your yard and padlock your sheds. This provides protection in advance and in real time. In real time, a locked door will stop casual intruders and determined criminals will make enough noise getting through them that you're ready to defend your home. Even before that though, a bad guy casing a home where they obviously use and check their locks and have their gates shed and garage locks down will assume it's not an easy target. On this topic, check your locks whenever somebody you don't know well comes into your home to provide some kind of service. More than one plumber, pest control technician, or internet installer has a deal with local thieves to unlock a, str a strategic window while they're inside. Number three, do some landscaping. A little landscaping goes a long way to deter burglars. First, trim back any bushes, hedges, or other foliage that offers an easy place to hide. Criminals hate being visible, and a yard that maximizes visibility sends them elsewhere. Second, look at window access. If there's a tree with branches near a second floor window, trim back that branch. Likewise, if you have low sash windows that would be easy to climb through, consider putting in rose bushes or other sharp pokey plants directly in front of them. Third, consider your landscaping as a whole. Professional and ornate landscape suggests wealth, enough to tempt some burglars to find out what's inside. On the other hand, sloppy, unkempt laws suggest somebody who doesn't take care of business and who's less likely to have good security at home. You want to strike a balance in between. Nothing fancy, but nothing too far out of order. Number two, know your neighbors. Get to know who belongs on your block and who doesn't. That way, you'll spot people who don't belong, who might be casing the area for potential targets, Likewise, if your neighbors know you, they're more likely to call if they spot something out of the ordinary. This one goes well beyond preventing or deterring burglaries and home invasions. It can also be helpful during emergencies, natural disasters, or even something like a lost family pet or having somebody to collect your mail while you're on vacation. Before sharing number one, let's look at two runners up. First, pour some gravel on your pathways. When was the last time you tried walking quietly on gravel? Heck, cats can't walk quietly on gravel. If you convert strategic walkways on your property to gravel, it provides a subtle intruder alert. This isn't for every home, but for those where it's appropriate, it's a cheap and easy way to boost your security. Second, consider protective coloration. In interviews with burglars and home invasion robbers, we've discovered three things they hate and fear. Alarm systems, dogs, and large athletic men. If you have all three, your home is very, very unlikely to be targeted. If you don't have any, Considering just installing some signs that you do have them, a large dog bowl, an alarm company sticker on the window, or a pair of large dirty work boots on the porch all give the impression that your home is a harder target. Okay, number one, install lights and cameras. Experts and statistics alike tell us that a home with lights and cameras is a home many professional thieves choose to avoid. They're more visible under those lights and it creates a better chance they'll be identified from recordings. Back in the before times, this was an expensive option only the wealthiest homes could afford. 
so much so that the presence of security lighting and cameras might even have attracted criminals because they knew there was something inside worth protecting. Now you can get solar-powered lights and cameras requiring no lighting or expert technicians and set up your whole home for just a few hundred dollars. Combined with the real-time monitoring, alerts, and remote access options, this really is an option worth investing in. There you have it, the top five tips to make your home a harder target. Is there anything there you disagree with? Anything I forgot? Tell me about it in the comments, please. For more tips on making your home safer, check out the videos here to the right, and don't forget to like and subscribe. The liking helps us more than you know, and the subscribing makes sure that you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching today. Stay safe, everybody. We'll see you next time.